My name is Cristina Coquior. I am an artist and designer and the work is called Block Networks. Maybe I can continue from the name of the piece, even though it's called Block Networks. In fact, um, these networks that were providing uh, internet service to different people and communities happened uh, not only in, in relation to blocks, but also in houses or neighborhoods at different, very different scales. Um, so the work is about a particular phenomenon that happened in Romania and also in other neighboring countries uh, around the end of the 2000, uh, 90s and beginning of 2000s, uh, where um, there was a need for internet connection. Um, and at the time, costs were quite prohibitive for a lot of people to, to set it up themselves. Uh, so uh, the phenomenon of micro ISPs uh, took shape. Um, and in Romania, I think there were over 1,000 uh, micro ISPs at some point in 2006. There was a, uh, a report about this. Um, uh, slowly, these, um, uh, th these companies uh, were acquired uh, by different uh, larger companies or um, uh, especially in Timisoara for example there is no um, as far as I am aware of there is no uh, uh, community network remaining um, there are some left but uh, in the surrounding areas of the city rather than within the city itself so there has been this phenomenon of um, larger companies uh, taking over or employees uh, moving towards uh, larger tech companies or uh, it not being financially viable to begin such a network nowadays. So I was interested in what is lost uh, in this uh, uh, process, especially as there are no new networks emerging anymore, how these networks uh, redefine the relationship between user and service provider, um, how they sort of crossed different scales and proximities, uh, especially considering that uh, the service providers were, were often um, living in the same area in which they were prov uh, in which they were providing this. In Timisoara this year, the, a lot of cables were taken down, <laughs> um, and this this was also, I think, a reflection of uh, entering another stage of development of internet infrastructure within Romania, especially in relation to um, internet cables, overhead internet cables being cut in Timisoara at the moment. Uh, I think this this particular subject. Uh, is uh, very relevant in terms of how um, people with a particular technological know-how but also relying on the social ties of their neighborhoods were able to um, establish these forms of service for themselves and for their communities. Um, and meanwhile also coming up with vernacular um, idiosyncratic ways of setting up infrastructure that um, became the basis on which uh, other things started forming and shaping. The work is a, um, um, an archive of uh, different material that I've been gathering for the past few months. Uh, interviews with some of the community network maintainers, um, conversations with um, users of these networks themselves. In fact, I actually started the process by asking my friends uh, if they had used, uh, been a user of such providers themselves and through them I ended up being in contact uh, with the owners of such networks. I've also done some online research. I've gathered material from forums, uh, articles, um, and I would also like to invite people who come to the exhibition to share their own experiences because this was such a common phenomenon um, that uh, even actually uh, in the setting up of the installation, uh, one of the people involved in it uh, had his own uh, community network that he maintained himself. So uh, there is something about the, the ubiquity of this um, type of relationship that I would like to invite people to share their own experiences with and in the top two um, screens uh, there is an interview with Una Maria Androkovic and Ivana Reilanu. Una Maria is a micro SP um, who is currently still maintaining service for something around 30 people.
Um, and Diwana is a very long-term <laughs> user of these services. Um, and I was interested to, to hear their perspective on uh, how this, um, how the past few years have been shaping uh, the possibilities for uh, community networks to uh, still exist. Um, and on the other screen, you see um, Una Maria walking us through the blocks of her neighborhood where she set up her own cable. So at some point the connection also breaks and this is also because she's using, we're, we're trying, it's, the phone is trying to find another node of contact. So the moments when the connection drops, it's also a moment of seeing, let's say the boundaries and, and the materiality of such a, of such a network.